Today we're going to look at cooking New York strip steaks on the Cook Shack charbroiler. It's a pellet fired charbroiler so you get the real flavor of cooking over wood with it. And today we're just going to do a traditional uh, New York strip steak. Uh, I've got the roast here that we're going to cut and we're going to make a little marinade, marinate them for about three hours uh, before we cook them. Marinade's a pretty simple one. We're just going to take and mix four tablespoons of olive oil, four cloves of minced garlic, four tablespoons of balsamic vinegar, four tablespoons of soy sauce, and we've got four tablespoons here of yellow mustard. And we've got four tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. And then we're just going to take and put a little black pepper in it. You can kind of do that to taste. I like about two tablespoons. We're going to get that all nice and mixed up. One thing you want to make sure of is that you don't over marinate your steaks. About two to three hours is just about right. Um, so we get a nice marination into them without, you know, destroying the meat. We have a um, New York strips roast here and we're just gonna take and pull a little of that silver skin off of it. And then we're just gonna cut our own steaks. And I like cutting my own steaks because that way you can get them as thick as you like them. I like about an inch and a quarter steak. And so we're just going to trim those up real nice. One of my favorite ways to marinate steaks would be to take and uh, put your marinade in a plastic bag. And then we'll just place our steaks down in the bag. This way you can get them nice and mixed up and make sure the marinade gets all over the steaks. Then we're going to put that in the refrigerator and let it sit for about three hours. One of the things that I like to do when I grill steaks is to uh, brush them off with a little garlic butter at the end. So we're going to go ahead and mix up some garlic butter. Uh, kind of cheat by using squeezable parquet. Some minced garlic. Then when we get the steaks on the grill, we'll uh, brush them off with this towards the end of the cook cycle. Uh, it gives them a nice little flavor and uh, adds a little bit of moisture to the outside as you grill them. We're, our steaks are now out of the refrigerator. They've been marinating for about three hours. So we're gonna take those out of our marinade. Get them ready to go on the grill. We're going to season the steaks then with a, uh, with a little peppercorn kind of seasoning. I like something with a uh, nice heavy grind to it. And so we're just going to season both sides of them. And then they'll be ready to go out onto the charbroiler. We've got the charbroiler running, currently getting hot. Uh, I want to turn it up on high to get the grills nice and, and warm on it. Um, we're going to be cooking these over uh, red oak which will give us a really nice wood flavor. we have our steaks finished as you saw us on the grill we were cooking up at the high temperature because um, we just wanted to get a nice medium rare on these steaks so we uh, we put them on the grill 
on high. They're two minutes in each direction and then two minutes and then flip them over in two minutes each direction on the other side. And you can see here that we come out with a really nice medium rare steak and um, nice grill marks and of course it looks great plated. Cook Shack Charbroiler gives you that really nice flavor of cooking over real wood without any of the hassles of building a fire. We just walked out, turned it on, and uh, let it heat up and started cooking. If you'd like to get more information about the Cook Shack Charbroiler, give us a call at 1-800-423-0698 or visit us at the web at cookshack.com.